Now, uh, let's go back to sort of a bit of a tangent there, but like I said again, I'm going to be explaining things as I go, and hopefully you'll just pick things up, as I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Um, so we're going to go back to explaining the difference between object and edit mode. So in object mode, like I said before, object mode is the mode where we're able to move individual objects around our viewport. Now, these two cubes are separate. So if we want to edit this one, we're going to have to select it, then go into edit mode, make our adjustments. But now, what if I want to edit that one? Well, we go back to object mode, and then we go into edit mode again, and now we can edit this cube over here. Now, it is possible to say, what if I want these to be joined? I want to connect them. It's more than possible to do that. So we're going to learn another shortcut, and that's Control J. Control J will join two selected objects in object mode together. And then when we go to edit mode, like if you try to go to edit mode now, they're still separate. It's just taking the last selected object. But if we select the two objects and hit Control J, as I've done, these will now become um, one object. And you can actually see in our outliner here, this is actually a outline of all or the high. I think it's called the uh, yeah, it's called the outliner in Blender. Um, the outliner will show all the objects in our scene. So if I just undo that Control J, you can see we have two cubes in the scene. After I press Control J, those two cubes are combined. So now, if I go into edit mode, you can see I can a gain access to both of those, uh, all the vertices of both of those cubes. So that's something just really, um, something to be really aware about: the difference between object and edit mode. And you always, if you're unsure of what mode you are in, you can always refer down to this bar here, and you can see: oh, I'm in edit mode. Oh, I'm in object mode. So I'm going to just get rid of that cube. 